Let's uh, sit comfortably, sit tall. Just take a moment to bring your awareness into your posture. See if you can align through your inner solar system. If you can use your imagination that the pelvis is the earth, head is the sun, you exhale deep into the earth through the pelvis, and then inhale tall up out through the crown of the head sun. Imagine the, the great distance between the head sun pelvis earth that brings the heart moon perfectly aligned. And those of us that were lucky as we walked down the beautiful garden, looking to the east, we saw the rising moon in its last of its waning phase. A couple of days' time will be dark moon, when potentially there could be a solar eclipse, which happens every, potentially happens every dark moon. What's special about the yoga practice, and particular Hatha Yoga, the balancing of the sun and moon energies, is that each time we come to sit, we can eclipse ourselves. Without awareness to posture, we tend to sit in a collapsed posture, posterior with the pelvis, no space for the heart or the lungs or the breath. We get caught in all our ordinary thinking patterns, And when we bring our awareness and our attention to the way we sit and align through the internal structure of the body, this posture sets up the conditions for you to connect into your breath, free breathing. And then from posture, free breathing, it sets the conditions up for you to have a looking place, a focus in at the center of the heart. So let's begin with the teaching mantra, the mantra that brings us all together once again as one, protected and grounded in the principles of yoga. We come together as a collective group to work together. And during that work we'll grow, nourish one another, and the growth will blossom into a beautiful flowers together, even shine together. Our combined focus and energy will create the conditions for us to all work together, flow together. And with our combined energies to work in harmony together. And therefore the practice will then be effective and long-lasting. So bringing your hands together like a little flame in front of the heart center. Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bunaktu Sahana Bunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasvi Tejasvi Navadhi Tamastu Navadhi Tamastu Mavit Vishavahai Exhale your hands down onto your knees. This morning, before we go into a little breathing sequence, just a simple pranayama, let's do our spinal extension flexion sequence, the 15 vinyasa, and then we can be sitting with the internal balancing of the, the energy directions that we 
flex the spine through. So let's go acum inhale, <coughs> anterior pelvis, extension, hyperextension of spine, look up behind the hands. Then dway two, exhale, flexion, head down, navel back, it's posterior spine. And then trini, inhale, anterior pelvis, extension, look up behind the hands. And then chitwari, go posterior, bring the hands forward, press the heart and hands away. Pancha, inhale, anterior pelvis, hands to heart, look up. Shat, exhale, posterior pelvis, press the hands away. Supta, inhale, the arms up. Then side flexion to the right, exhale, put the, the hand down flat on the floor if you can, and then rotate, inhale, look to the left hand. Exhale, look down. Another inhale, come up, extension through the spine. Desha, exhale to the left side, forearm flat if you can, keep the right sit bone down. Inhale, look to the hand. Exhale, look down. Ekadasha, 11, inhale, extension. And then Dwadasha, little spinal twist all the way down into a bud, really curl into a ball. And then inhale, spiral tall, and exhale, look far to the right. Triodasha, inhale, extension through the spine. Chattadasha, 14, little ball to the left side, really spiral down into a bud. And then inhale, spiral tall, and exhale, look far to the left. And then Panchadasha, inhale, the arms all the way up. And then exhale. You can exhale your hands onto your knees or into your lap. Close your eyes. And then to sit with a vertical self-supporting spine, we can use the metaphor of the internal solar eclipse, where you, once again you connect to the pelvis and exhale down through the sit bones. Inhale tall up through the crown of the head and bring the heart perfectly aligned. It requires three regions of the body, the pelvic floor, psoas, lumbar, and navel, neck and throat to balance the head, to balance the heart, the pelvis. We can then rest the shoulders upon the ribcage and draw the armpits down towards the navel, and balancing out the sun channel and the moon channel through the armpits. Lengthen up through the cervical spine, in particular where the neck meets the base of the skull, that tucks the chin down slightly. And then, see if you can relax into the space without neglecting the effort that requires to keep the spine vertical and self-supporting. You'll find that as the outer body relaxes and descends down into earth, the inner subtle body begins to rise. With that rising, you'll find the continuous flow of the breath. So let's first of all just connect into the flow of the breath. Initially it's soft, quiet, but continuous. You can take your awareness to that region just outside the nostrils, to the upper lip, and see if you can feel the soft flesh of the nostrils as you breathe in and as you breathe out. You can, as you breathe in, see if you can breathe the breath to the upper cheeks and see how it lifts the upper cheeks nice and wide, which dilates the nostrils and then exhale. Feel how it begins to contract in and resolve into the midline of your spine down to the root and then in inhale again. When you focus on the breath, especially as you exhale a little bit longer, you can breathe down below the navel to the pelvic floor coccyx and then breathe up the line of the spine then wide to the armpits and side ribs and then exhale, resolve back into the midline. You begin to feel with your senses the breath. 
You begin to hear the sound of the breath, so the sense of hearing, giving space to the breath. And then through the sensation of the breath out through the nostrils and just feeling the expansion of the body, you feel the movement of air. With your eyes looking inside, the insight, you'll possibly see the flow of breath from the interior to the outside space. And then you'll find the outside space flows in filling the inside space. So through insight you connect to the expansion, the heating aspect of the breath, creating moisture and as you swallow, taking the breath through to the back of the throat, this connects you to the water element that keeps you earthed and grounded, connecting right down to earth. So as you filter the breath, you take the breath through to the back of the throat, which enhances the sound that you're listening to and giving space to the breath. And then through the sense of smell, connecting to the fragrance, as if you're going into your own internal garden, in particular the heart flower, lotus or rose, smelling the fragrance of your inner breath. Adding to that the sensation of three-dimensional breathing, length, width and depth. Let's synchronize our breathing together so that we can count the cycle of the breath, noticing that for every exhalation there is an inhalation. And if we take a round of 12 breaths, I call it the focus 12. So let's breathe in together synchronously. And then rechaka, long and fine with sound. Take and one, poor Aka, inhale, long and fine with sound. Take and one, rich Aka, exhale. Dwe, two, poor Aka, inhale. Dwe, two, rich Aka, exhale. Three, three, poor Aka, inhale. Three, three, rich Aka, exhale. Chatwari, four, poor Aka, inhale. Chatwari, four, rich Aka, exhale. Pancha five, poor Aka, inhale. Pancha five, rich Aka, exhale. Shat six, poor Aka, inhale. Shat six, rich Aka, exhale. Up the seven, poor Aka, inhale. Sup the seven, rich Aka, exhale. Ashta eight, poor Aka, inhale. Ashta eight, rich Aka, exhale. Nava nine, poor Aka, inhale. Nava nine, rich Aka, exhale. Desha ten, poor Aka, inhale. Desha ten, rich Aka, exhale. Ekadasha eleven, poor Aka, inhale. Ekadasha 
Ekadasha Levin Rechaka exhale. Dwadasha 12, Poraka inhale. Dwadasha 12, exhale. Through the focus 12, we've got a volume and a length to the breath. It's around about a five beat. Let's breathe in together. We'll go into Ujjayi breathing and count the beats to the breath. Exhaling, one, two, three, four, Five, inhaling, one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling, one, two, three, four, five. Inhaling, one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling, one, two, three, four, Five, inhaling one, two, three, four, five, exhaling one, two, three, four, five, inhaling one, two, three, four, five, exhaling one, two, three, four, Five, inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Stretching the breath, some of Riti, lengthening the exhalation. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six. Then matching the inhalation to the exhalation to six. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Six, good. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Keeping the sound. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, stretching to seven, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, stretching to eight, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's finish off with Rechaka Kumbhaka, just to set the bandha. So let's exhale. Do one full deep inhale. 
and then exhale to empty. On the exhalation you can flex, take the body into a flexion to get all the air, air out. On the end of the exhale, Mula Bandha, Jalahala Bandha, Uriyana Bandha, draw the abdomen in, sit tall, lift the shoulders up to lift the sternum up and then drop the shoulders down, tucking the chin in. First of all, a line through the spine, keeping the Bandha on, try and relax. First, release the abdomen, release the throat, exhale a little bit more, and then breathe in long and fine. One full clearing breath, exhale. One, inhale. One, then rechaka kumbhaka, exhale to empty, flexing through the spine to get the, all the air out. On empty, mula bandha, jalahala bandha, uriyana bandha, sitting tall, lift the shoulders, turn them up, roll the shoulders back and down, retain, align, try and relax. Release the abdomen, release the throat. Exhale a little bit more. Long and fine in. One full clearing breath. Exhale. One, inhale. One, last round, rechaka kumbhaka, exhale to empty. Mula bandha, jalahala bandha, uriyana bandha, kumbhaka. Release the abdomen, release the throat. Exhale a little bit more, long and fine in. Three clearing breaths, exhale. One, inhale. One, exhale. Two, inhale. Two, exhale. Three, inhale. Three, then exhale, release. You can release your legs. Just take the legs out for a moment, relax the legs, and then dorsiflex the feet, really stretch the heels long, stretch through the shins, then activate the really through the kneecaps and the thighs all the way up into your groins. Then relax, point the toes, really work strong through the shins, through the Achilles, the calves, knees, thighs, groins again. Relax and wobble your legs. We can then roll forward into a high inclined plane looking down. Work the shins, the thighs, the groins, lifting up, navel in, then lift up out of the shoulders looking straight down in the high plank. And then chatwari exhale, resist on the way down. Stay looking down, punch it, inhale, roll through. A subtle bend in the elbows to then lift up out of the shoulders, lengthen through the legs, look forward, look up, and then exhale the head down, lift with the psoas into your downward dog. First adjust the feet, 
then looking toward your nubby chakra, your navel center, keep the navel in, let's breathe the length down through the line of the spine, and then exhale, keeping the navel in, breathe all the way to the pelvic floor, keeping the navel in, breathe wide to the armpit side ribs, lifting the heart, keeping the navel in, exhale, down into the hands and feet, keeping the navel in, breathe deep to the back of the heart, sternum, and then exhale. Sup to seven, inhale, step forward, short of the hands, so you're still a quadruped. Then pressing through the hands, extension through the spine, if you can, lengthen the legs, lengthen. Then a subtle knee bend, ashto, flexen, at the hips fold forward, lengthen the legs. Then shift the weight back into the feet, keep the head in. Another inhale, come all the way up. Look up behind the thumbs, nice big crescent moon stretch. And then exhale, summer steady here.